Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Hendricks. Today I'm gonna to focus on single implants or small bridge implants. What you're looking at right here behind me or to my side is an actual dental implant. It's an exact replica. And a lot of times patients will use the term a screw in place of an implant. Now, if we call it a screw, this would probably be the most accurate way to, to represent it, okay? Because what, we're, what we see here is this is an anchor and a screw goes into an anchor. Just like an implant and a screw will anchor something into it. So you have the anchor, which is the implant, and a screw that tightens down something over the top of it. It's attaching a prosthetic crown or a tooth replacement. Well, let me show this to you. So this is a model that would represent someone's like three teeth in their mouth. And so you go in and the tooth doctor says, hey, the tooth is, is uh, not able, we're not able to save it. And we're able to do a root canal. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the tooth out okay, and we're gonna put an implant in. Now, there's two different scenarios. We can do an implant or we can do a bridge. Okay, so a tooth is extracted and you have a, a missing tooth, okay? In this scenario, a lot of dentists for many years, they would say, okay, even though it's a one tooth problem, uh, we, we need to solve this problem by prepping multiple teeth like this. So we actually shave the teeth down. So the tooth used to be like this and we, we shave it down. And then we put a bridge between it like this. So a bridge is something that connects all three teeth together. One tooth problem solved by two teeth and essentially it's a, a three tooth solution okay the disadvantage to this often is that if it's just a one tooth problem you're actually cutting down good teeth to be able to make that work and when you take that top layer off of these teeth sometimes if you have a you have a propensity to get cavities this is a way that your tooth a healthy tooth can start to have cavities and have multiple crowns uh, multiple bridges being put on it. That's really frustrating and eventually you end up having to extract that tooth too. So even though bridges are a solution, I don't think it's the best solution. Let's go ahead and put our teeth back in. Let's save these teeth here. Okay, put this tooth structure back on. Okay, so now we're going to put an implant in. And again, if we go back to our model here, So here's, here's an implant, and we're essentially going to, this is why it's a lot bigger, but we're gonna screw, rotationally drive this implant into uh, bone. And so imagine that's what I've done. We'll flip this over, and this is what you'll see, okay? So now you have still two teeth, and now you have a screw in between. So that implant, goes into the bone and unlike our screw that goes into wood or cement or something uh, an implant goes into bone represented by white here it goes underneath the gums pink goes into the bone and it actually it it, it, it stays inside the bone and in a healthy individual and in 90 percent plus uh, of patients you're gonna have bone that grows into all these little gaps and actually locks the implant in. So that if a doctor was able to go back in and try to reverse it, it, it actually wouldn't reverse out because the bone has grown into all those little tiny areas, which you can't really see here, but you can see it on the x-ray. And, and, and essentially that's one of the ways we find how we really diagnose if an implant has completely healed, okay? Is that when they, we call it a reverse torque test, we reverse it, put a little bit of pressure, and if the implant doesn't move, we know that it's a healed implant. Okay, so implant goes in, there's a, a, a amount of time that passes for the implant to integrate and to heal. And then we put a, an actual screw in it. And this term we call it an abutment. Okay, so this is an abutment that screws into an implant. Okay. And then we build a crown on top of that. So that is 
a one tooth problem solved with one tooth. That Hopefully that kind of makes sense. Okay, again, going back to the basics here, there is three components. Okay, we have the actual crown, call it implant crown. You have an abutment that screws into, into the implant, like that there. Okay, like that. And then there is an implant, okay. The bigger version of it, but that helps you see those three things. Okay, so that's a, that's a one tooth, uh, one implant uh, crown. So implant, abutment, and crown, okay. Now, if we were to come back and show you what a, a bridge is, Again, just to review it, we, a bridge is a bridge between teeth like this, okay? There wouldn't be an implant there. And one of the disadvantages to having this is that when you don't put an implant into this bone, what we see is bone will actually tend to resorb or it, it tends to remodel itself, meaning it, it, it is, in a sense, it dies away. Now, the only thing that keeps bone in place is the healthy tooth or a healthy implant, okay? Now, let me just show you another version of this. So let's say you have an implant. Let's say you have three teeth that are bad and you have to replace a tooth for every single, do you have to replace each tooth with an implant? And that's, uh, no, you, you can. But oftentimes it's, that's, it creates a prosthetic device that's very hard to clean. And sometimes uh, if, it's not, it's a, if it's not easy to clean, what ends up happening is you end up having bone loss. So anything that uh, gets bacteria around it, it's gonna cause bone loss, okay? So let me show you a, a, another version of implants. Now, again, we're gonna use this implant here and we're just gonna build an actual implant bridge. Okay, I talk, I do a lot of all on four implants. That's what my career's been about is uh, taking someone's teeth out and replacing them with at least four to six implants. And we use the term all on four. I like the term all on X because X meaning you know, question mark, as many implants as we need. Sometimes four is all I need, sometimes you need five or six. But we're gonna talk about a solution that is two implants for three teeth, okay? So here's one implant here and then we're going to put an abutment on it. And this is an abutment and this yellow wood is really distorted, but let's imagine this is like uh, a cement. Okay, way too much cement, but for, for this, for all intents and purposes, this kind of helps understand. So we're going to put a screw. Unlike this one over here that I just showed you, this is an abutment that's, that's all one piece, meaning that the abutment is the screw itself that goes in. This is actually more rare. And the reason why is because we don't have as many options. There's not as many things that we can do with it. We can't modify it and change it as easily. And so this is called a, instead of being a one piece, it's a, it's a, a two piece implant. And so that the screw goes into it. Okay, this screw goes into the abutment and then it goes into the implant. And then in implants, we have these cool little tools. This is just a representation of one. They're not white and they're not plastic, they're metal. But that's what you have here. So I'm just putting that screw in. It's gonna lock that in, okay? So now we have an implant with an abutment and a lot of cement around there, okay? Bear with me here. And what we're gonna do is now we're gonna put a crown on top of that, okay? So that would represent what we saw here, but unlike this being a one piece or a, a, a all in one piece implant or an abutment crown, and this is two piece and this is what it looks like. Okay, now we're, we can also create a bridge like this. There we go. 
again, that's just what we're looking at there. Let me just zoom out a little bit here. There we go. Okay. Yes, we can put bridges on top of implants, and that's essentially what we do in, in practice is if it's just one single implant, it's really simple. We, if it's one tooth that they're missing, we just take that tooth out, we put an implant in, and then we build a crown on top of an abutment, which I've shown to you. And then if we have three teeth missing, instead of placing three implants for three teeth, we can just place two implants. And we can, we can place two implants, and then we don't have to essentially have an extra implant in there, which costs more money, can make the, the device hard to clean. And so this is a great solution uh, for patients. And so if you imagine this and times this by two, we had another version over here, but then that's really what we're talking about for all on four implants, meaning one smile on four implants. And I've done lots of videos that talk about that. I, I love this stuff and I hope at the end of the day, implants aren't, they're not, they're not overly complicated, but they can be a little bit tricky for the lay person. So I, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that, that I, I, I love this stuff. Subscribe to my channel so you can see new videos that come out on a weekly basis. Um, I'm, I'm gonna start doing uh, weekly Q and A's with, with patients so that uh, you can really pick my brain and help you know how to communicate with your doctor wherever you're at. I, I know that there's always a place to start. Patients sometimes get overwhelmed or frustrated because implants are so expensive and and we're gonna cover lots of these different messages that I think are so important, but, but they are worth it. And you just gotta find the right doctor, be in the right health, and, and, and they really are life-changing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you next week.